Hi, welcome to Playing Games, I'm Chris, and today we're going to unbox some playing cards. This video is a continuing look at the Italian regional card decks. Over the course of 16 short videos, I will be opening all of the Italian regional packs, and we'll go over what makes these unique masterpieces tick. Let's go. Today we're going to open the Bergamasche Italian card deck. Here we go. So here it is, the Bergamasca deck. It's a northern Italian style deck. That means it has the suits, coins, goblet type cups, battens, like sticks, and curved swords or scimitars. Let's open it up and have a look at it. Here we have the Bergamasca deck from the northern Italian city of Bergamo. So right away we have the best part of this deck, the legendary Ace of Victory. Right here on the Ace of Clubs, we have a heralding banner with one word, Vincerai. Vincerai means you will win. Has there ever been a better card in any deck? I don't think so. It's like a fortune cookie within a card game. Who doesn't want to have that on their card? Now, I've never had a deck of these cards. Okay, here we go. This is the coin suit here. The coins are red, which happens in several Northern Italian decks. It's a weird choice in my opinion. Here's our Fante or Jack, our Cavallo or Horse, and our Ray or King. Then we have a sword here through a crown. The Muslim style, that's what they're meant to be. They're curved swords, scimitars, sabers. It makes it a little hard to read. Well, it makes it more than a little hard to read. They are difficult to read because you see this is the two. This is the two. There are two swords and some trumpets. And then the three is the same, but it has a third sword going through the middle. So you have to really look out. There's the four, the five, also an, a middle sword, the six, the seven, so you have six curved swords in blue and red, and then the seventh going down the middle. And there's the Fonte, the horse, the king, and then we have the cup suit, but in the old style, it's more of an angular goblet. We have the Cupid here on the cups. I mean, it's hard to tell that these are even cups because there's like a plant growing out of one of them. Uh, here's the three, the four, five, six, seven, and then we have the face cards for the cups. We have a jack, he or she has a cup, but it looks like a tower in their hand. Same thing with the horse and the king. Uh, then we have the two. Now this is super tricky too, because you have a double ended here. So it's two, not four. Yes, there are two rods, but you might see the ends and think it's a four. Well, it's not a four, it's a two. Same thing with the three. And now the four becomes more of a confusing mess because you have these crisscrossing fours. It's not eight because there are uh, eight ends to it, it's four. The five, another confusing card here because you have the four going through it and then this one, but it, it's invisible in the middle and then it reappears here. So I think they just want you to look at half of it. Then we have the six, they're intersecting. And the seven, same thing with the five, it just disappears, the green one in the middle. And now we have the face cards. We have uh, Fonte, she's holding a mace, uh, the horse, and the king. The core cards all have one unifying characteristic. They're all albinos. Most also have short hair. The kings look somewhat feminine, so perhaps they're modeled after regional queens. If I had to guess, the horsemen are actually horse women in this deck as well. Bergamo is a city that I've only really passed through when visiting Mantua and Lake Cuomo. I'd really like to visit it one day though. The whole region is beautiful up there and I'm sure the deck is in high use there as well. While this is not a deck I would choose to play with, I again think they do a good job making the cards unique and readable. The lack of numbering makes this deck intimidating to beginners though. I'll say it here for all the other Northern Italian decks. I fully appreciate these decks honoring the original style of the Saracen decks. I just find them a bit too cluttered to be fun to play with. That said, you at least have to admire that ace. Information is scant when it comes to regional decks, so if you are from the Bergamo region or you know a lot about this deck or why the Royals are albinos, please share what you know in the comments and I'll do my best to keep that knowledge alive. This is just one of Italy's many regional decks, and you can see all the others right here on Playing Games. Please comment, like, and subscribe to help this channel grow. Also help support the hard work that goes into these videos by digitally donating to this channel. You are great. Thank you.